I don't know anything about you, but I can tell by the fact that you clicked on this video that you're in need of some money. And what if I were to tell you that <laughs> I could help you with that? Elderly personal trainer. Okay, this method right here is just straight up legalized bank robbery because old people will throw money at anything that has the word workout in it, no matter what it is. Whether it's some sort of course to get a six pack or how to learn to defend yourself or even teaching them how to get five stars in just dance. If you walk into any public gym while they're doing a group class, you're gonna see 90% old people and they're not quite doing a real workout. They just got the old people in there hitting like the stanky leg and a few bicep curls three sets of more in the loss of Gandhi and then they just top it off with a 30 second plank and I gotta admit that's quite the effective workout if you want to look like Kevin Malone from the office but whether the workout sucks or not old people are never gonna tell the difference because they're gonna be waking up sore the next day no matter what hey Ron how's your body holding up after that workout yesterday oh let me tell you Billy I've never been this sore in my life it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a 73 year old man I'll tell you that much so basically all you have to do is just start some sort of workout program. Just pretend to be a personal trainer, print out a few business cards, pass them out to old people, and they will be paying top dollar for your workouts. And just like that, all the money will be coming in. Method number two. Blind people at Disneyland. You have to find a group of blind people. I know it's not exactly easy to just find a bunch of blind people, but the more blind people you find, the more money you're gonna make. Next, what you have to do is you have to gather them all at one singular location. Make sure this is a location that they're not familiar with. Also, make sure it's a place where no one's around. So when you have all the blind people in a place together with just you, all of the blind people are going to be very confused where they are. And at this point, you tell them that you brought them to Disneyland. And when the blind people don't believe you at first, you give your best Mickey Mouse impression and once they hear you go hey it's me or Mickey they will 100% believe that they are at Disneyland so then you have to tell them that they have to purchase a ticket to get in and if you want to be cheeky about it you could tell them that you got them a discount somehow because you just know a guy and you just give them a different price even though it's all just made up so let's just say if your tickets are $150 each you just made $150 per blind person and if you want to do this again at a later date with the same people you can do it as many times as you want I just gave you free income for life. You're welcome. Method number three. Owning girlfriend dogs. In order to use this one, you're gonna have to have a little bit of charm to you. So if you have your way with the ladies, let me just tell you, there is a very open market for getting into relationships with girls and breaking up with them and then getting custody of their dogs through legal battles and then selling off the dogs for money. If you're someone that finds himself in relationships that don't work out all the time, then why waste your time with a bunch of meaningless relationships when you can just profit off of them? Instead, Instead of just looking for love, you can find somebody that you love that has a dog. You want to make sure it's a valuable dog so that you can obviously profit more. And from there, you guys go on a few dates, maybe fall in love, maybe get married, who knows. But make sure this happens in a relatively fast timeline because you don't want to waste too much time on this. As time goes on, you want to try to gaslight your partner into hating their dog. You want to use comments like, "Ooh, how do you even tolerate this thing? Or, ew, he kind of smells like shit. And if you keep using derogatory comments like that, towards a dog throughout the course of the relationship, this will start to get your partner to hate their own dog. And then suddenly one day you tell your partner, hey, I don't think I can do this anymore. But before you leave, you tell them, and I'm taking the dog with me. And if you did a good enough job gaslighting them, then they will probably be fine with you leaving with the dog. And at the end of the day, you're left with a free dog. And you may be thinking, I don't want this crusty ass dog. What do I do with it? Now this is where the money comes in because you sell the dog on Craigslist. You'll be able to get a decent chunk of money for this dog. If you do this over the course of time, your net worth will go up and you will be rich. Method number four, eBay McRib. You may or may not know this, but McDonald's has a seasonal item called the McRib. Seasonal meaning it's not there all the time. It's there sometimes, but most of the time it's not there. And the times that it's not there, that's when people need it most. So what do we do about this and how do we line up our pockets using this method? You wait for the McRib to come back on the menu. As soon as it's on the menu, you go to McDonald's, you order approximately 620 McRibs and you stick them all in the freezer and after that you just wait for the McRib deal to end. Once the McRib is gone from the menus, what you gotta do is you have to get all of your McRibs and put them up for sale on eBay. You would have to be clinically insane if you think that nobody in their right mind thinks to themselves when the McRib is gone, oh man, I would totally pay so much money for a McRib right now because McDonald's doesn't have it on the menu. Now that your McRibs are on eBay, you now have a product that these people are looking for. You could sell them at any price, and just like that, you'll be rich in no
no time. Method number five, Febreze vending machine. I don't know how this one hasn't been done yet. I feel like this one is genius. You're gonna need to invest some money into buying a vending machine. Once you buy a vending machine, make sure you place it very strategically. Make sure there's a lot of attractive human beings crossing this area. So you gotta fill this vending machine with Febreze. It could be air freshener, deodorant, goddamn three-in-one shampoo. I don't know, just anything that makes you smell better. And what you have to do is you have to stand by this vending machine while a bunch of people are walking by and you pull out a bottle of liquid ass. You know liquid ass, right? That shit in a bottle that's really disgusting. So with your bottle of liquid ass, you have to make sure while nobody is looking at you, you spray as many people as you can. And all these people that are walking by your vending machine full of Febreze, deodorant, Axe body spray or whatever the hell, they're going to be smelling themselves and they're going to be like... <laughs> Oh my god, I smell like hemorrhoids. And once they realize that they smell like hemorrhoids, your vending machine is gonna look like a gold mine to them. They will pay you Bill Gates money for your scented goodness. Especially if you, like I said, placed your vending machine in a place where a lot of attractive people roam around. And over time, you're just gonna be making bank. But just make sure you don't get caught spraying the liquid ass because uh, you might get punched uh, like a lot. Well, those were my methods on how to increase your net worth. I feel like after giving you such amazing methods on how to get rich, it would only be fair if you were to at least hook me up with a like. Thank you so much. Hello? Oh yeah, is this the guy that's selling the McRib on eBay? Yeah, I'll pay $500 for that right now. Subscribe!